What is up, everybody? Again, it is so good to be back. I just love sharing these tips and tricks that are just gonna make your hair the absolute just mm, amazing. In today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys how to create volume and maybe do it yourself. It's gonna be amazing. Stick around, it's coming right up. All right, so when considering, do you wanna get more volume in your hair? I'm gonna say 99% of most people that are either watching this or just in this world, want more volume. Who doesn't want more volume? You know, like a little bit of height there, a little bit of height there. You know, nobody likes their hair like flat to their head. I mean, some people do. And it looks good, you know what I mean? Like there is a time and a place for no volume and there's a time and a place for volume. But in today's video, it's all about volume. So first things first, what we want to do guys is that we are going to basically take a section from the recession. So we're gonna be taking basically the top half of the head and we're gonna going to be clipping this up. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so the one thing you wanna keep in mind, guys, is that, again, we have got the top portion here, and then we've got, we've got the sides, and then we've got the bottom down through there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this, and so you can actually start to see how this goes. Now, the thing you wanna keep in mind, which is going to, is that this ponytail is not on top of the head, right? This would be exactly right up on top of the head. Now this is actually kind of pivoted back just a little bit. So this hair is, if I hold this directly straight out from here, you can see how this hair is now coming off of the head like here. This would be straight up from the head like that. Now we, we want this angle and I was pulling all of this hair to have this angle because we're going to come in and we're going to cut it at an angle. We're not going to cut it straight. We're actually going to cut it to where it has an angle to where it's going up those directions just like that. So let me show you kind of how this all looks going all the way around. Okay. Now, does this have to be absolutely perfect? No, it really does not. This could actually be a zigzag line if you wanted that to be. As long as you've got basically the top portion and then you've got this um, this portion down through here. Without further ado, let's cut off some hair. When we are starting to cut, the thing to keep in mind, guys, is that we can use a texturizing scissor, we can use a blunt scissor, we can use a razor. What we're going to do today is that I'm actually going to use a blunt scissor because this is a fairly thick amount of hair and I just really kind of want to go in and you know, cut this off. So we're gonna go in just like this, guys. Now, really, how short do you go on something like this? If you go in and you cut this really close to the root, you're gonna get this hair cropped right up here on top, and then it's gradually gonna get longer. Now, we don't wanna go super aggressive like that. We want this volume to kind of cascade and almost, it'll have kind of a shag effect, but not the shag effect where you get the shag, you go from short to long in that direction, like the actual front portion through here, we're gonna get kind of a shag in a crop, a shag through here, and then cascading down in some of that length. It's gonna be awesome. So let's do this, okay, so. There we go, okay. 
I usually like to soften up some of this hair. Now, how I would do this is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a texturizer and I just kind of start to soften up that line, you know? Because sometimes if you cut something like super, super blunt, you're going to see those lines. Now, I just really, really want to soften this up. And you're dealing with quite a bit of hair right here. And I usually, when I start to soften this up, guys, I will actually do this at the same angle that I cut the actual length. Because I cut it at an angle like this, I didn't cut it straight. Meaning I didn't cut it horizontal. Should we take it out? Yeah, let's take it out. Look how cool this looks, man. And the really cool thing about this, guys, is that number one, a lot of times people, it's in this general area that people don't get enough volume. Being in this hair industry for 25 plus years, that's the one thing I learned is that they're like, I just can't get enough volume in this area. Now this is going to take care of that issue. Now keep in mind guys, you don't have to go as short as me. You can actually go a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Just make sure that that angle, that angle is super important. So let's go ahead and show this. That angle needs to sit on the head just like that. Whether it's short like here, short like there, or it's all the way up through there. You know what I mean? Because again, you're going to get a little bit more volume through this area because you're working on a round surface just like this. Now, if you go in and you create this kind of like straighter line through here, you're going to get length extending through the front, extending through this area. I mean, this layering technique is awesome. I mean, I'm already really liking what's happening here. Now, with that short hair coming through here, and again, it cascades forward to where you get more length. So we are going to, what I'm going to do actually is I'm gonna cut some of this length. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of B-roll and I'm just gonna get rid of some of this length on the bottom. All right guys, so after you get done finishing the hair, I'm just gonna kind of dissect again, really kind of what we did. So now you can kind of see, again, you can see the front perspective, right? And just kind of see how that looks, right? We've got a lot of nice volume up in this area. Now I wanted to blow it smooth for a reason. I didn't want to round brush it because again, round brushing it, you can get a ton more volume, but I really just kind of wanted to show you it's kind of a lean amount of volume to it. So now as I start to kind of turn from the side and you can really start to see kind of how that looks as well. But really the cool thing about it is that we've got so much volume happening through this area, which is really pretty awesome. Now, as I go to kind of play with it, you can start to see a lot of that. But the really cool thing is that now we've got like that, that blunt bottom that I guess you could say this is like a, a bob, a long bob. Let's say it's a lob. Let's say this is a lob. And because it really kind of is, like the shoulders would be right here. This would be a considered a bob anywhere between like this area to about right here. This is a long bob. But a really cool way to layer a bob, a long bob, a shag. You know, if we were to keep this length longer, it would have a completely different effect as well. But this is actually super awesome because again, you can see how much volume we're getting throughout this. And the really cool thing is that I didn't cut any fringe. This was all directed all the way back through here. And this falls around the face like a nice amount of kind of fringe that just almost kind of, you know, it's kind of a nice little framing of the face 
which is pretty awesome that you can see through that. Because if she was to put her hair in a ponytail, just like that back through here and have a lot of this volume kind of play with like right down through here. Like look how cool that even looks right through there. You, she could like wrap this up really super tight. She has so much of a chameleon of a look, you know, there's a lot of people now that could totally rock this. It would be awesome. If you guys dig this, go ahead and like this video, share it, take it into your hairdresser, say, dude, I, this is what I want. You know, whatever. I mean, I'm just here to make sure you have better hair. Whether you're doing it yourself, you're gonna go see a professional. That's what I always recommend, by the way, because I am a professional. But you know what? If you can't afford it, dude, try it on your own, you know? Guys, this is my DIY how to get volume on any length of hair that you can put up in a ponytail on not on top of the head on the back you know like 45 degrees from the head right here if you can put it in a ponytail now you can cut that length at any specific point i truly hope you guys enjoyed this vid i'm gonna put a little product in here we're gonna kind of spice it up i mean i like spice right i mean all right i gotta i, I gotta share something with you i made fajitas the other day Jake likes it spicy. My wife, she doesn't. And usually, I'm pretty good about picking out a jalapeno, and I usually put half of a jalapeno in the fajitas. Well, I don't know what the season was, but I put half of a jalapeno in my fajitas, and boy, it was spicy. It was spicy for me. My wife's like, I can't eat this. I was like, I'm so sorry, babe. I didn't do this intentionally. And she really enjoys her fajitas. We, we, we do this remix of fajitas, it's amazing. I'm sorry, love. I'll never make that mistake again. But you know what? Let's spice this up. If you guys made it this far, honestly, congratulations. I just want to applaud you. I hope you guys got something value out of today's video. Look and see how cool this is. Again, I am really, really just loving this. Again, I know we did a little bit of, I, I just like showing it off, you know what I mean? And if you guys are not subscribed, check it out, subscribe, why not? You know, I post every Monday. I am going to link below a really special treat for you guys if you haven't downloaded it. It's my cheat sheet to face shapes. Go ahead and check that out. It's for free, it's my gift to you. Other than that, like the video. I will see you guys in the next video.